Now, balaclava-wearing neo-Nazis, uh, they're cowards, of course. They descended on Sydney for the third day in a row yesterday. Uh, on Australia Day, 60 of these cowards boarded a train and carrying banners and chanting slogans. The New South Wales Premier has vowed some tough action. And the message I would say really loud and clear is those who are attempting to menace people in an anonymous way. In New South Wales, the police have the ability to unmask you. So in front of your family, your friends, your employers, your co-workers, you'll be exposed as a massive racist. Yeah, wouldn't you love to know who's under those masks? Let's go to the New South Wales Shadow Police Minister, Paul Tool. He joins me from Bathurst. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Uh, if the government comes up with tough new laws here, you guys will be inclined to support them, no doubt. Look, absolutely, Chris. Um, you know, we're certainly wanting the government to retain its position on being strong on law and order. Uh, I've got to say that over the past 12 months under Labor, we've actually seen them go soft on law and order here in New South Wales. And it's about time that we actually start letting criminals know, letting these thugs know that this kind of behaviour is not wanted. This is about dividing our country. This is about dividing our state. What they are purposely doing is creating that division and that harm. And this is not about equality. This is not about tolerance. This is about thugs coming into New South Wales causing disruption. So we should be unmasking them and we should be doing everything that we can to charge them and actually throw the book at them. Yeah, I'm all in favour of this. Uh, nobody would be defending uh, these morons, but the legal aspects are pretty tricky, right? Of course, the Nazi insignia and Nazi, Nazi salutes are banned. That's easy to sort of delineate. What's the next step then? Do you, do you ban people protesting in mass? Do we have a law saying that you have to actually have your face revealed? No anonymous protest. What, what is it exactly about what they're doing that we can somehow have laws against? Well, there's a couple of things, Chris. The first thing is, if these people are turning up with a mask, they want to be hidden. They don't want to be uh, shown who they are. So we need to you know, really look at banning the wearing of masks when it comes to protests. Now, we've already seen this happen. We saw it happen down at the uh, the Opera House already earlier uh, last year. Uh, we've seen it again with these neo-Nazis protests that are actually taking place uh, over the weekend as well. So there's no place for this. But we also need the authorities to act quite diligently. We need them to act swiftly. We need to investigate quickly. But we also need them to charge people. Now, what we saw over the weekend was a number of infringement notices that were given, but not many charges laid. And this actually sends the wrong message that this kind of behaviour can be tolerated. And it should not be tolerated here in New South Wales. A lot of these thugs, they didn't even come from New South Wales. 60% of them came from Victoria. So they crossed our border just to come over here and be a part of this protest. So unacceptable. Yeah. We should name and shame them and we should be making sure there are better laws, stronger laws, to make sure they can't wear a mask.